basket. Uh, he's living for the moment. He's defending. He's just all around playing at such a high level. And, and I'm so happy for him because the last two years, uh, we haven't seen that Will Barton because of injuries. Um, so, you know, a hell of a win, you know, to have all these guys out and finding ways to win, finding how, having guys step up. Uh, as a head coach, I could not be more proud of a group. Um, I, I don't even know how to answer that. I understand the question. Um, I know that we're always better with the MVP, you know, um, you know, but uh, I know in Nicola's heart, sometimes he feels that he has to stand up for himself. Um, regardless of all that, this was the situation, you know, uh, this is, was our reality that we're going out there and playing without three of our starters that have helped us get out of the first round three years in a row. And we didn't bat an eye. Guy stepped up, and uh, I thought our bench was terrific. Bones, I mean, like tonight was, uh, you know, the fans love Bones. I see why. Uh, made some big plays. Took a, took a take foul late that was really uh, key in getting the win. Um, so, um, like I said, just a, just a really good win for us. Hey, Michael, to follow up on that, you've seen a lot of point guards come up in this league. Um, how advanced is Bones right now for a rookie? Because he's going to be You know, it was really interesting watching uh, Bones and Zeke in that first half, you know, uh, and their, their on-court chemistry and synergy uh, was really exciting. Uh, you have a young player in Bones, Highlands, who uh, with the dribble uh, can get to places on the court. Uh, you put him in pick and roll, he can get downhill. And what I love about Bones is that, you know, when he, when he gets into the paint or gets around the basket, he's not forcing tough shots. He's finding guys, you know, he's playing with the poise uh, beyond his years. And I felt him and Zeke were, uh, were terrific throughout the night in that bench unit. Um, so, yeah, I, I think, you know, Bones is only going to get better, Harrison. He's so young. We've played 11 games now. So where he's at now and hopefully by the end of the season, he's even uh, a more improved, more mature player. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you can definitely work on that. You can learn, you can improve. Um, but I think the great ones just have a, an inherent feel. Um, you know, it's, um, he has the ability to read his defense. He's, he's so shifty. He changes speeds. So he's so hard to keep in front because he's got a really tight handle. He's got great quickness. And most importantly, Katie, he knows how to use his quickness. A lot of times, especially with young players, um, their quickness is also their biggest weakness because they get out of control. They don't know how to use it yet. Uh, but I think Bones is, is well on his way to, to uh, continue to mature and to be a hell of a player. Well, you know, you know, it's funny. Let's go back to summer league, you know, and, and Zeke had a really you know, tough summer league. Um, and, and you could see as each game went by, um, the weight on his shoulder was just getting heavier and heavier. And by the end of summer league, he was shooting into a basket that big. That's the amount of pressure he was putting on himself. And I hated to see that. Uh, and then when we got back in September, I remember going up to him in the gym. I said, listen, just completely erase summer league. Like, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be worried about it. I know who you are. Um, what I love about Zeke, uh, and, and I think he gets this from his parents, uh, he is dedicated, he's disciplined, and he's one of the hardest workers on our team. Um, and, and that's when he's not even playing, he's not even in the rotation. So when we have practiced, when we have played, um, Zeke is going out there and doing exactly what's asked of him. And that's what you like about that young man. You know exactly what you're going to get. He's going to work hard. I've told him, hey, you're going to be out there with four smalls tonight. You need to screen and roll. You don't get it, screen and roll again. And he did it. He kept it very, very simple tonight. He knocked down a couple of jump shots. Um, and I thought he played some really good defense as well. So a, a really good performance. And, and that's key right? for a young kid. Um, will he play 21 minutes next game? I don't know. But what he's shown to me is that he can help us win an NBA game in meaningful minutes. And that's how you kind of, uh, you know, kind of get your foot in the door, if you will. Coach, on a night where you don't have big holes, Jamal, Michael, uh, Will is a, he's always been a player that has been comfortable kind of shifting from out of the spotlight to in the spotlight when you need him. 
Will's always in the spotlight. <laughs> Let, let's, let's be honest. How important is that, that versatility and that willingness to go from being a player who may take five shots one game to being somebody who's comfortable losing the trade? Yeah, I mean, it's funny. In my seven years with Will, you know, you've seen, you know, we talk about young guys like Zeke, like Bones. Well, you know, a veteran can mature and change as well. And I've seen that with Will Barton. Um, obviously, a lot, of it, a lot of that has to do with him being healthy and having confidence in his body to get back to playing Will Barton brand of basketball, attacking, slashing. Um, but I've been just on him all year long and, and just reminding him of how amazed I am at how he's impacting the game in so many levels and layers. And to your point, yeah, no Nicola, so we need somebody else to step up and maybe score a little bit more. But Will's been doing that every night. I mean, he's probably been, aside from Nicola, our most consistent player, our most impactful player, scoring, rebounding, playmaking. Um, he took a bad shot tonight in front of a bench. He goes, oh, my fault, coach. That's a bad shot. Like, he, he's, he's so in tune with what we're trying to do right now. And he made that huge pull up off the Aaron Gordon screen to put us up by four. Um, so, yeah, I, I love where he's at right now mentally. Uh, and I'm just so happy for him, for, he, for him having success because these last two years, as I mentioned before, have not been easy for him physically and mentally. I just want to give a shout out to Mountain Vista Girls Volleyball. State tournament starts tomorrow. The number four seed in the state, they got a bye. They got two redheads on the team, not bad. So let's go Eagles, all right? Mountain Vista. Go Eagles, baby. Go Eagles. Hey, thank you, Katie. And you're wearing their colors, too. I, I knew it. I knew it. Let's go. Zeke in here shortly and then we'll 